I've been asked multiple times how to do supports in Mesh Mixer. So you bring mo your model in, uh, go to edit, align, move it to the build plate, then transform, move it up 10 millimeters, click accept, and add a mesh, make that one millimeter each. You can see what I did there. Uh, edit a line that will then move the little item that we just added it'll be around in the middle uh, there you can see it it'll move it to the middle click on both of those combine now mesh mixer will think the model is in the air so <coughs> Click on analysis overhangs. Our threshold can be about 25. Uh, what I did there, you can also do here in some such. A, well, you can also do that here um, if you're gonna auto generate uh, max angle 70 density. I normally start with zero because it might generate just too many uh, models. Your post diameter for such a short distance can be one millimeter. Uh, tip diameter you could uh, look at one uh, base uh, three might work um, tip height so in this case I'm gonna auto generate and uh, sometimes it uh, does a really nice job sometimes not so well and then you just have to do it yourself so as you can see even uh, with the density very low actually at zero uh, on my machine it's taking a bit of time it's generating a lot of supports most likely uh, so we'll see what happens looks like it's done so of course this is not what you want this you'll never get off um, remember you're, you're talking about very very small distances so uh, that we can delete with control and click the this delete uh, control and delete there um, so this is the reason why a lot of times I would create the supports myself um, I normally would create supports if you look at little squares uh, every big square or every every line on every square so here you can see is you'll just never get this off um, so the the bottom will be destroyed completely and this was with density zero uh, now the option is to go and really remove all the supports and, and add them as you need them uh, or just if you don't if you don't care about the uh, the bottom it's probably not the end of the world so that is the the one method of doing it and as I said uh, you can also lift it up in mesh mixer so I'm just gonna try and undo here it's not too happy with me at this point in time uh, I'll just try and open up another mesh mixer here so same story go edit, align, move it to the bottom and then um, we're gonna do an auto generation so five millimeter from it's supposed to lift it up automatically so let's see uh, if it lifts it
and it lifted it up for us so you can use that technique uh, but again uh, it generated so many extra supports it's really completely useless um, you're going to be spending more time deleting these extra supports than you would um, take to add them uh, but again if you don't care about the bottom you know uh, just add them and scrape them off so that is uh, support generation now also with mesh mixer you can convert this to solid but what I've noticed is um, it actually moves these uh, the pins or the ends of the supports sometimes away from the model so then you also get the print failures um, if you don't convert to solid and the, the supports um, go over each other kind of well like here you'll see in Gizmetor when it's slicing it's not sure where the one uh, where the faces start and where the faces end so when it's slicing it'll think that's a start and it'll think that's an end so this will be uh, white but then it'll make that black and then where this one starts again it'll think it starts so this will be white again um, that could cause issues uh, you just need to see uh, what works for you um, you can also uh, fix the model there's uh, fixing tools uh, to fix the model so that it actually combines all the STL files uh, so see what works for you is this multiple uh, things you can do and um, I normally just export this to an STL and print um, and I'm happy with the results.